in the opening circle on the first night, more than 50 African-American poets look across the room, some of whom have never worked with another African-American poet, and see themselves reflected back, their beauty and power. There is an outpouring of tears, gratitude, and joy. All over the country, there are fellows writing poems and building communities who have gone through this transformation. I believe that the Kavi Kanem poets will be the flesh and blood of the work that our country needs so urgently to do, especially now. This energy does not belong to us. It was passed down through the creative genius of our ancestors, which was their response to slavery and oppression. We do them honor by passing it on. Joy is an act of resistance. Thank you. It's been a very tough week, hasn't it? And what I would like us all to leave with is this memory that this is what love can do. This is what happens when a group of people actually go forward and try to transform something, um, not even knowing exactly what they want to do. But this is what, hold on to this moment, I think. Um, because right now, as we speak, uptown, there are people in a building that are trying to write a narrative about who we are and who we're supposed to be and what to do about us. And when you lose that story, when you lose that narrative or you allow that narrative to be taken from you, bad things happen. And I think it's our job and our duty, and Kavi Kalam's duty was to make sure that we get to write our story, that we get to say who we are, the fullness of who we are, the contradictions of who we are, in our own language, in our own way. So, I, so thank you all for honoring that. One of the great things about Kyle Economy is the ability to see one another in a room, and I have that feeling right now. We're all seeing each other. And thank you, National Book Foundation, for seeing what we've done. Thank you.